the Sumo Temple Marathon has started. Let me know in the comments how many laps your team is going for. So that in itself is quite interesting because a lot of us are probably thinking Katsuga isn't that good. But when we compare him to a previous race sponsor, Iguanasaur, I think he actually stacks up quite well. Over in Plastic Theory, we had one initial vote, which was split between 85, 60, and 10 to 40. And it was actually even all the way through. So we're doing a revote. And this might be the first marathon in a long time where we aren't going to do 85 laps. It's looking like 60 is going to be the winner. Plastic Fury, if you haven't voted yet, make sure to vote and check out this monster review as well. And because that will help you make your decision. And before we get stuck in today's video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button so you can grow in monster with gems, stardust, diamond relics, race monsters, legendary wars, and, and more. Welcome to Wabi Gaming, the place where gamers grow. Uh, so I've been getting a lot of questions about Katsuko and what I think of the monster and and how many laps to go for. So I am going to do a monster ranking on Katsuka across Infinite Gauntlet, Team Wars, PvP, and Book Rewards, so that you can decide how many laps you want to do for the race that starts right now. And no, I haven't been sponsored by Social Point yet. So shout out to Armor Gaming for giving me permission to use the footage from his monster analysis video. And I think the four skills that Armor went with are the best skills because you really want Katsuko to do one thing, dual damage as a secondary to help protect your allies. I remember when I first saw the relics and it was double shield relics. I'm like, that is absolutely trash relics. A double sword on an attack is actually really good. So instead of double sword, what we actually have is double shield. So if you have double vanish shield, it almost acts like a double sword. But in addition to attack, you also get the defensive properties of the shield. So it's actually even better than So I've actually come around and actually think these relics are actually quite good for the role that Ketsuko has. And for runes, we are running him as an attacker. So we are using the normal attacker runes, two strength and one speed. And I'm going to showcase three battles that Armor did, which I feel gives a good feel of what Katsuka is going to be like. Katsuka is quite slow, so we just have to wait until it's his turn. So a 130 Katsuka will kill a 140 badly ruined Vampire, which is nice to know. Without Taunt Hater, he's not going to do much damage against Bombada because it is light versus light. And against a free life Bombada, spoiler alert, Armor does end up losing with Katsuka on attack here. This second battle is also against a Bombader, but this time Bombader only has two life. The rest of the battle really is just straightforward, but it does show how strong the Sumo Cat is on attack. And now we're gonna check out Katsuko at level 150 against a Shelly. And for this attack, Armor does switch to what I would say is a more traditional kind of setup, where we do have a Linworm to turn transfer over to Katsuko. So Katsuko does have the elemental advantage against Shelly, so he is going to do a lot, a lot of damage. So let's check it out. Torn Hater is on. Boom. So that's about 2.1 million damage. Overall for multiplayer PvP, I'm going to give Katsuka a 5 out of 10 because we are in a meta where there is a lot of mega taunts and taunts, so he is useful to take down those monsters. For Gauntlet, I'm going to rank Katsuka as a 3.5 out of 10. He isn't usable in the normal Gauntlet mode, but the one thing that he can do is he can bait quite well because he does have double shield and you can run double Wang Zhao shield. And looking at his book, so Katsuka is a light monster. He is in Adventurers, Good Legions, and Winter. So let's go check out the competition for those four books. So over in light, the competition is Daigo on attackers. I don't, I put Daigo above because Daigo does have Uriel's and also Villain's Hater. And in support, there is He's also Bombada and Necrolic. So he is actually useful because in Team Wars, he will come up against Bombada and can do a lot of damage there. Winter doesn't have a lot of good monsters in general and he is a good attacker. I do rate him in Winter because the other monsters that he does compete with are Manipulate and Sluggazoid and they are sort of like middle of the range monsters. Over to Good Legions and this is interesting because I was contemplating Atsuka versus Iguanazor. They're both attackers and they're both in Good Legions. 
And I'm actually kind of tempted to put Katsuka above Iguanosaur. And the reason for this is because in addition to doing damage, he can also protect his allies. Whereas Iguanosaur is just a one trick opponent and can only do attack. So that in itself is quite interesting because a lot of us are probably thinking Katsuka isn't that good. But when we compare him to a previous race monster, Iguanosaur, I think he actually stacks up quite well. In Good Legends, there's also Varipapu. So that's quite competitive versus Daigao, Kaguya, Nogarak and Iguanosaur. Over in Adventures, on the attacker front, it is kind of similar because there's also Hardy and Daigo there. I probably wouldn't put Katsuka above those. And Adventures has really good deniers in Kadama, Varapapu, and Henry's is also quite decent as well. So he doesn't do so well in Adventures. But the main books he is actually quite competitive in is Winter and Light. So that's two out of the four books, which is actually not too bad. Overall, looking at the books that Katsuka is in, he does do decent in the books. So I am going to give him a six out of 10 because he will kill Bombada and he will also be useful in the wars where you need to take down a tank on attack. For book rewards, Katsuko is in this Cosmic Season 5, page 1. So this one gives 10 keys, 10 bronze chests, and 4, 4 to 6 runes, which isn't that great. So we can actually pass on this book reward. And over in the Cosmic Era book, he is in page 7. So this one looks like it is going to be the free-to-play page, and you do get 2 9 to 10 runes, plus 2 gold chests. So he is actually quite decent for these book rewards, especially if you are going to rank him up further to rank 1, rank 2, rank 3, where you get 8 9 to 10s or 8 golds. He does have sort of a compelling case to rank up for book rewards. Really good for book rewards, so he does get it. 8 out of 10 here. Overall, I do give Katsuka a 5.6 out of 10, which is quite respectable. And I do rate him similar to Iguanosaur in terms of usefulness. So let's say you did 85 laps in Iguanosaur. You may want to consider doing 85 laps for Katsuka as well. The only reason you may wish to change that decision is because there are some hints that Cosmic Season 6 may be the last season of the era. That would make Cosmic Season 5 the second last. And because there is likely going to be a new era where there's going to be another bump in stats, that might sort of lead you towards not going for as many laps for the last two races. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out one of these two videos over here. And if you think Wabi Gaming videos will help one of your friends grow, make sure to share with them as well. And I will see you next time.